technology that in the past we thought only existed in science fiction, but we now hear is real, is here in the UAE this week. This is the Abu Dhabi Autonomous Summit at Abu Dhabi Autonomous Week. And it's here that policymakers, industry leaders and innovators are coming together to implement what is the future of technology. What are you going to say to me? Hello. All right, I get it. And you? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, I thank you. Well, I spoke to Faisal al Banai, who's an advisor to the president here. This is a country that won't be, as far as he is concerned, a passenger in this race. The idea is that this will be a frontier country. Ooh. What's meant by autonomy, whether it's a car, whether it's a drone, whether it's a robot, is that machine understands context. The machine understands the environment and decides based on the objective or the mission what it should do. That's really a big change in what's happening in autonomy. Yeah. What that means is when you're referring to logistics or referring to people movement or robots, you are actually having the machine work very closely with Mahan to really take off the burden and the load of a lot of things that you can really offload to the machine to do for basic mission planning, for basic programs. And I think that is really the change that you're seeing with the combination of AI and these machines. I also spoke to the CEO of WeRide and the head of Abu Dhabi Airports, two key partners here who are converting ambition to action. Uh, WeRide and Uber has already tested the, the driverless robot taxi start from the second quarter this year. And we have tested extensively. Now pending the approval of uh, ITC, uh, we, we will actually deploy the full driverless robot taxi in Abu Dhabi. This is the first one of Uber deploying driverless robot taxi out of US. And this is the first one we write deployed driverless robot taxi out of China. Abu Dhabi and UAE, you guys give the strongest support. I have never seen any other government in the world being so supportive be being so determined to push forward for the robot taxi and application of robotics. And with this kind of strong support, and of course, with the uh, strong technology from WeRide and Uber, uh, uh, we actually are ready to scale. We uh, operate as a, a orchestra director in a way where everything needs to happen at the same time. So ha we have replicated that ecosystem um, on, on a platform uh, with the AI power solutions. What this platform does uh, is that uh, through AI solutions, uh, it learns from the past and is able to predict what can happen in the future, right? Uh, so tactically, an airline uh, that has been late systematically in the last 10 months is going to be late also tomorrow. Or like looking at strategically in the longer term, uh, the system is able to predict uh, where we're going to experience bottlenecks in the future. And hence, uh, we need to start to work today to enhance the capacity. It's behind the scenes. Uh, the, 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 the passengers doesn't see what is happening, uh, but he's experiencing the, the, the results. The fundamental difference between us in Abu Dhabi and maybe elsewhere in the region and maybe elsewhere in the world is that you have a system of government that is actually trying to pull the private sector to move faster. Whereas elsewhere around the world, to Tony's point, you have a system of government where you're pushing the government to actually take action, be a little bit more risk averse, uh, be a little bit more um, forward thinking in, in adopting technology. I think what's unique in Abu Dhabi is that you have a lot of the private sector that has moved and evolved into government positions, which allows us to actually bring private sector thinking into a government setting. And that's essentially what makes a huge difference. So from the first commercial air taxis on routes between Abu Dhabi and Dubai, marking a new era in urban mobility to service robotics, humanoids, it's all on display here in Abu Dhabi. 
This is today a new technology, whether it's the AI, whether it's robotics and the fusing of, of that. And it's clearly defining what things do you really want the autonomy to do by itself? Because these are basic decisions, basic things. What things you really want to have human in the loop on making such decisions in, in, in this regard? There are some basic things, whether it's you want to call it home chores or whether you want to say a, a basic task in a hotel, someone going to deliver your food to your room. There are, there are all catastrophic decision making that's going to happen. The robot's going to pick the food, it's going to bring it to your room, maybe take your bill. That's fine. Okay, let's have a look at this. Hello, Sam. Yes. What can I do for you? Can you give me a K-Boo Boo box, please? Well, this, they tell me, is the future of retail. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much indeed. My kids are going to love this.